We've said that NumPy is a lot more efficient than pure Python, at least, of course, in the numeric way of computing things. And we have an entire lecture dedicated to it at the end of this section, but we have to start introducing a couple of these concepts right now. This is because we need to understand the concept of num NumPy universal functions or UFUNCs, okay? It's gonna be the first topic that is gonna start the, the concept of performance and efficiency with uh, NumPy. So to do that, we're gonna use this example that it's just computing the reciprocals of a given uh, array of numbers. We are gonna have two different ways of computing the reciprocals. The reciprocals is just one over whatever is this thing right here. The first version is gonna be a very naive uh, Python-based way of doing it, which is just iterated, it, this function compute reciprocals receives uh, an array, a values array, NumPy array, and it's again, it's a very dumb, I'm gonna say, way of doing it because just iterating over each one of these elements, it's first allocating an empty array, it's uh, iterating over it, and then it's setting the value of that array equals to one divided by that given value in the array. This is the worst implementation of this function but it's just uh, for the sake of the comparison. So this is the result. 1 over 337 is these, 1 over 276 is these, etc. What's the preferred way of doing these thing is just with a broadcasting operation. 1 divided by values, right? This is the broadcasting operation or the vectorize operation that we saw in our previous uh, lesson. So again, it's very naive, at least to, in this point of view, to compute a, or to create this, this whole function where you could uh, just use this simple vectorized operation, right? But aside from being this version being more verbose and being uh, uglier or, or difficult to read, etc., it's also a lot slower, okay? The vectorized operations in NumPy, they are all machine code optimized functions that are gonna execute a lot faster than pure Python computations like these ones that involve, again, Python for loops. Whenever you have uh, iterations, Python, is, Python has a, a very limited compiler that can't optimize these processes. In contrast, as we've said before, NumPy is, is coded internally with machine code uh, languages, right? Or code can be, or languages that can be compiled into machine code, like for example, C or Fortran, etc. So these repetitive things, they are actually optimized internally. The question is now how slower or how slow is this thing compare these function at least compared to the regular vectorized operation. We're gonna create a big array so we can see the difference and I'm gonna time both operations. First, I'm gonna time compute reciprocals, the naive function, and we get that for these one million element array that we have created, it takes 1.7 seconds to compute. How much time does the vectorized operation take? It takes a lot less. It takes only 45.8 milliseconds. So you can actually see it in the speed that the thing is returning, right? Just a lot faster. It is actually kind of now cached, so it's it's a lot faster. But again, just giving you the sensation of how slow this is compared to this operation. It's very, very fast. It kind of now seems that it's even faster. But again, it's this idea that the vectorized operation is a lot faster because it's compiled or it's optimized again within the NumPy library. So what does it all have to do with, uh, with NumPy? Well, internally, all these vectorized operations we've used so far are represented as again NumPy universal functions or ufunks, okay? And these are functions, right, that are built in in the core of NumPy. So in actually these operations that we're running is syntactic sugar to invoke the np.divide function. Whenever you do one divided by an array, you're actually doing 
np.divide and you're passing those values as a parameter. So you will see that these two functions are pretty much, uh, they take pretty much the same time because again, the idea is that we are running the same function in both places. One over something is just np.divide. The same thing as for example, an array plus values pretty much np.add values plus something else. So again, syntactic sugar for these optimized operations. Um, there are many U functions. You can actually consult them in the docs. We have a couple of examples here like absolute value, uh, logarithmics, exponentials, powers, uh, trigonometric functions, etc. We encourage you to actually take a look at the lesson and the exercises. But again, conceptually, what we want to take from this video is that first, whenever you're running these vectorized operations, it's just actually syntactic sugar for the UFUNCs that are already built in the, Py, in the NumPy library. And second important point is that all these UFUNCs are machine code optimized. So they're gonna be very efficient to do array processing.